Journalist and writer Laura Waterman Whitstock and photographer Dick Bancroft depicted the American Indian movement in print and photographs for over 40 years. Their book, We Are Still Here, published by the Minnesota Historical Society Press, is a testament to that effort. It includes Woodstock's reflections on covering the Native American civil rights movement as a young reporter in Washington, D.C., as well as some of Bancroft's striking and iconic images as the movement struggled for Indian independence. Uh, I found that I didn't write worth a darn. And I, nobody's going to listen to me talk. And the best way to record what I was experiencing was by using a camera. What interested me about AIM is they had the word movement in their name. They weren't the organization to do this or that, or they weren't a specific name, but they were the American Indian Movement. And out of movements throughout history, you expect change. society to change. Um, it's a force to be reckoned with. So I tried to analyze what that might be. All of the major press, Time, Life, New York Times, Washington Post, they were all sort of on the side of government saying these are hoodlums, they've come into the building, they're destroying public property, this is the taxpayers that will be paying for this. That was the story. It was not the story of the largest group of American Indians from all over the country who had ever come to one place for one reason, and that is to talk to the White House about 20 points that they had put together. An exhibit of Bancroft's photos opened at All My Relations Gallery on Franklin Avenue. The occasion was celebrated by drummers singing the AIM song, traditional foods, and activists on hand to recount the struggles and victories of the movement. Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback didn't attend, but sent along a proclamation. Now therefore I, R.T. Ryback, Mayor of the City of Minneapolis, do hereby proclaim May 10th to June 30th, 2013 as a celebration of 45 years of the American Indian Movement's history in the City of Minneapolis, signed by Mayor R.T. Ryback. American Indian Movement more met right here in North Minneapolis on the right torn side of North Minneapolis. We met just a few of us. After months of organizing, just a few of us. Mostly women. Mostly women and children came to that meeting. After months of organizing. Our people were so beaten down. They were so beaten down they didn't think that anything could happen. That there was no change for us. But we proved them wrong. Amen. We proved them wrong because we have strong women. For some of the founding activists of the American Indian Movement, like Bill Means, the event completes the circle of his and others' work. Well, I feel uh, very proud, first of all, to have known such uh, quality people, such honorable people, men and women across the country and later on throughout the world indigenous leaders and to think that it started right here on Franklin Avenue it means kind of like we came full circle we're coming back here to the beginning and the same community that has such a rich history has begun to recognize the contributions of aim to the Indian world and indeed to the indigenous world After 40 years of knocking down doors, AIM now focuses its attention on educating youth and adults about their culture and creating a community where Native people can be proud. So what goes on now is to try to continually influence young people to remember their culture, to learn their language and to keep going.